Hello world, Krista here with Books and Jams and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I hope to be reading in the month of February. I've picked out six books and if I get through with all of those then I will just go to my shelves and pick out more because I am trying to read through my shelves this year. And I have made a video of the 50 top books that I would like to read this year and five of these books are from that shelf. Of 50 books that I am aiming to read before the end of 2018. So let me just get right into it. First of all, of course, is my Goodreads read along group pick for the month of February. And we are going to be reading The Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley. I am very excited to be reading this. It is a chunker. I think this might be the biggest of all the books that we've read in that group. But I do think that it's going to be pretty quickly if it's anything like the last Susanna Kearsley book I read. This is a historical fiction in a sense, but it also has a dual timeline. So we're reading from a woman in the present who is writing a novel about part of the Jacobite Rebellion in Scotland. So it deals with Scotland and England in the 17, early 1700s. And she realizes that her novel is more fact than fiction. So she starts to wonder if there's some kind of ancestral tie that somehow she knows exactly what happened. So as she's doing her research, she's realizing the things that she's writing are very true. Something along those lines. That's what I'm getting from the summary anyway. So I have read one other Susanna Kearsley book and I'm very excited to read another. If you are interested in historical fiction or in dual timelines in the early 1700s Jacobite Rebellion, I would love for you to join us if this is something that you think might interest you. So that is the first book that I plan on reading in February. The second book I'm going to be reading is a buddy read with Lucy, who is one half of the couple over at Book Axe. Lucy and Scott are a fantastic channel. If you've not watched Book Axe, then you should. Uh, but Lucy and I are going to be reading The Muse together by Jessie Burton. I have not read any Jessie Burton. The one that a lot of people know is The Miniaturist. This is her more recent novel. But this also has a dual timeline. I don't know too much about the story, but I believe there's a painting about this woman in 1967. So there's rumors about this painting uh, and who the woman is that's in the painting. And then we also go back about 30 years earlier to 1936 where I think we meet the woman who is in the painting. I'm not exactly sure about the storyline. Uh, I've heard mixed things I think about this one, so I'm looking forward to giving Jesse Burton a chance. This is on my shelf of 2018 books I wanna read because of its cover. So uh, I'm hoping that I like the book as much as I like the cover, but I know that I'm gonna enjoy reading with Lucy from Book X. The next book that I chose off my shelf for February is one of my nonfiction books, and it's Quiet by Susan Cain. I saw Susan Cain speak in a simulcast uh, leadership conference that I went to a couple years ago. I'm into looking and learning and talking about personality stuff lately. This is a book about introversion and living as an introvert in a world that's kind of built for extroverts and how to find your way in the world, I guess. That's kind of what I get from this one. I typically go pretty slow with nonfiction, so this might take me more than one month to read, but I do want to get started with it while I'm in the groove of talking about personality stuff. The next book I picked because it's February and it is on my shelf of authors that I would like to read more from and that is Jojo Moyes and The Last Letter from Your Lover. This is another one with dual timelines. This is about a woman who wakes up in the hospital in 1960 and she doesn't know anything that happened to her, I uh, believe, but she has a letter from somebody that's signed B the letter B. This letter is very passionate and she just doesn't know who it's from and why it was written to her. We also follow a storyline in 2003 where a journalist named Ellie discovers a letter that was written by a man, a passionate letter written by this man to his married lover. And so she tries to hunt down what happened there as well. So I think that a little love story might be good for Valentine's Day, even though I am single, but that's okay, right? We can still enjoy reading love stories in February. So I'm gonna, we can enjoy them anytime, but I'm gonna give Jojo Moyes another read. The fifth book I've chosen from my shelves to read this month is one of the Jane Austen inspired books and it's Mr. Darcy Broke My Heart by Beth Patillo. Patillo? This is about a girl named Claire who just doesn't get it why everybody loves Mr. Darcy and then she ends up going to stand in for her sister at a Jane Austen seminar in England and of course I'm sure her mind gets changed 
and she probably meets a Mr. Darcy type character and falls in love. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Might be predictable, but I just love them. I don't even care. <laughs> so there's that one. Finally, I picked up a middle grade book because I've never read it, and that's A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. I don't really even know much about this story. I never had to read this in school, and I never read it as a kid. So I saw a trailer for the movie, and even that is not very helpful. I think this girl's dad is a scientist and playing with time or quantum physics, I guess it would be called, and ends up getting trapped in time, I think is what happens. And she, this girl, and her friends try to go rescue him. Maybe. <laughs> that might be what it's about. I am looking forward to reading this. I believe the movie comes out in March, so I would like, the trailer looked fantastic, and I'm very interested in seeing the movie, but of course I would like to read the book first. So I have that. I typically read about 10 books a month, so I may be picking a few more up that you'll see in my wrap up at the end of February. I did pull out a couple more off my shelves here that are more kind of love stories or um, love focused or red or pink. Oh, and I've been on a kick with epistolary novels and I did find one more called Letters from Sky that I might be reading as well because I've read one in December and one in January and I may end up picking that up too. We'll see. I will at least be reading these books in the month of February, these six books, they're a lot chunkier than the little books that I've been reading in the month of January. So we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure that I should be able to get through all of these though in the month. I love you guys and I look forward to chatting with you in the comments down below about these books or your favorite books or what you're looking forward to or anything, what, how your day's going. I will chat with you soon in another video. Bye.